I think we'll have that stem there. Some green, we'll have some green. Nice bright green there. I'm dancing around with different greens because nothing worse than uniform mixes. And yeah, there's a leaf there I can see. So I just make use of what we have. Maybe we have a leaf there. I'm going to make a shade of that green by adding the black, which is a dirty colour. The only complaint I have with these paints is that the colour is so intense, your water, your washing water gets dirty very quickly. I have got students that actually pot this and use it for watercolours later for a wash. That's how intense it is. We might have another complementary flower here. A little higher third. And I'm going to skip, scoop the paint up fairly thick and paint in pasto. So it really is three dimensional. So it could contrast with a warm colour on a cool and a contrast in as much as you've got thick paint in pasto sitting on a water colour type background. An adaptation of fat over lean. I'm going to do the same with the other bloom. Fairly casual approach. Now I've just replaced my brown black there with a the carbon black because I want a, a really strong contrast. Black being totally negative. I just want to see how I can define. Usually use a mile stick for this. Yes, beautiful. And it's not flowing as I wish, so I'm going to use a medium, a satin medium which will make it flow readily, improve the viscosity. See how that just flows so well. Beautiful. Now you see that it doesn't change the colour and somehow it doesn't even reduce the intensity. You get that wonderful flow. I'm just trying to draw around what I've painted actually. The black has an effect like uh, the lead round a stained glass window. It totally complements the colour. I liken it to um, if you have a, a lady with beautiful skin, how can you make her skin look more beautiful? Well basically if you put in a black dress, the black will enhance the colour of the skin. You notice as I'm drawing, the black actually improves the colour. As I said before, this is not a botanical drawing, this is just a representational drawing trying to capture the feel of a flower. I'm going to draw now with blue. Take some blue and 
just lightly. Delineate. Back to the other brush. Not happy with this colour here, so I'm going to mix up a nice indigo and possibly add a little black to it to intensify it. And they're going to do it as a wash, and it's softening the paint underneath, so it is blending, which shows the advantage of this paint where you can come back and blend. Those who are used to acrylics know that I, have to, I would have to repaint the whole thing because the paint won't blend at this stage. But there it is, it's working and blending. Let's increase this. Pretty pinks. Yeah, beautiful. There. Yeah. Maybe a little there. Maybe extend this. Right, 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 right. I'll experiment with my greens. That's lovely. Yeah. Now, let's go into the other flower, which is built up of warmer tones, and I'm going to delineate this with red and orange. Helps if you have a bit of a shake in your hand. Uh, freeze it up, gives it a delightful sort of free approach. Okay. I have some blooms. 